wait a minute. Let's see what happens when I retake it while pretending to be both friends. That way I'm sure both sets of answers match. Quiz results, only 12% matching answers. You are not best friends. That makes no sense! Don't lose your best friend. There's still hope if, but only if, you attend the intensive best friends boot camp this weekend. Only five bucks. Now it makes sense. That quiz fails you just so you go to their stupid best friends boot camp. Sherwood has to know this. Where are you? Super important news. Add screen face emojis. I've got to find him now. Sherwood! 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 Ha! Ha ha ha! Lola, have you seen Sherwood? He and Butterfingers went to something called Best Friends Boot Camp? Ah! Lola, you have to come with me to Best Friends Boot Camp. We don't need some weird thing like that to prove we're friends. It's not for us. It's for me and Sherwood. I need to save my friendship with him. Why would you need to do that? We failed a Best Friends quiz. <gasps> Sherwood failed a quiz? Oh, boy. Say no more. So this is Best Friends Boot Camp. Oh, Best Friends Energy Drink. Yeah, yeah, that's right. Hey, it's got two mouth holes for sharing with your best friend. Gives you the energy you need to live your friendship to its fullest. <laughs> oh, we've got lots of exciting new innovations in friendship, all designed to bring you and your best friend closer together. Let me show you, let me show you, come here. Bracelets made with rare, powerful Costa Rican friendship crystals. Proven to increase feelings of closeness by 30%. Can you imagine that? Hey, or best friend's glue so you can attach yourself to your best buddy and be together forever. <laughs> That's great, isn't it? Look around, help yourself. Uh, no thanks. <laughs> <laughs> it's all so stupid. Beans for two. Because friends who pass gas together stay together. There's no way someone like Sherwood would buy into all this. <laughs> Ow! This is like the night time you did that. This is hard. <laughs> oh, come on, Butterfinger. What are they doing? Looks like some kind of demo teaching people how to do a best friend's handshake. Oh, what? Peter? Cooper? What are you guys doing here? You guys are already BFFs. You don't need help. Yeah, but we do need that t-shirt with two neck holes. If you and your partner pass all the BFF tests, you win that shirt. Oh, no. I got dibs on this cooking space. Gah. With all the cooking surfaces taken, I got no place to cook. Unless... I'll be mixing my pie ingredients in my bedroom. Angelo, you know the house rules. No food in the bedrooms. You can mix here. I've got a spatula and I'm not afraid to use it. I'm gonna just slowly back out of the room here, okay? Truly a wondrous sight to behold. The community coming together in harmony to celebrate the local recreation center. Then the baking mitts come off for an extreme pie bake-off throwdown. Kathy, the owner of the Sugar Shack, will judge pies for presentation and taste. She digs in, and here we go! Nicknamed Smash and Mash, these two brothers are experts in breaking eggs and blending stuff. Yeah, put that in there. Who puts hot dog in a pie? A genius, that's who! Six foot two, 194 pounds of muscle, and six foot two, 194 pounds of no muscle. This duo features a real chef. If you count school cafeteria food, it's real food. <laughs> Told you, Coach Bro, no one puts horseradish in a pie. A cooking team for the ages, nicknamed Spice and Nice. Who you calling nice? Huh? Couldn't help myself. That's three teams out. Wait, make that four. It says here we needed to microwave it for 10 minutes. <laughs> this is almost too easy. I know. <laughs> Just to be safe, I added a little extra something something to the sample slices from Angelo's family. 
You did what? We don't need... <laughs> it's our turn. The teacher and the teacher's pet. Graham cracker crust, not too buttery, sweet and tangy lime custard. Mm. It's the best one, right? Hey, not so fast, kid. Hold your horses. The creme de la creme of pie bakers and Peter. <laughs> That makes no sense. He's a pie aficionado with fancy tastes, and he's not afraid to show it. Wow, looks amazing. And tastes as good as it looks. Believe me, I know my pie. <laughs> what? Okay, that really makes no sense. He ditched his own father to fly solo. What kind of kid does that? Hey, how do you even know that? Apple pie, a classic and my favorite. <laughs> okay, that really makes no sense. Tracy must have done something. I read in Fame and Fortune magazine that statistically, the person voted most likely to succeed becomes the most successful later in life. Is that so? Dude, you actually read Fame and Fortune magazine? <laughs> Since I was four. You were saying, sure? Several former students of our school have gone on to great success, and they were all voted most likely to succeed. There's Roderick, an astronaut, Kareem, an owner of an animation studio, and Gustav, the world's foremost authority on grated cheese. Grated cheese? You'd be surprised how much money there is in grated cheese. It's obvious, guys. Most likely to succeed as a clear winner. Sherwood. Hello! He knows obscure facts. Uh -huh. Yeah. He's the smartest kid in school. Uh -huh. Yeah. And he already reads Fame and Fortune magazine. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. He's got the stuff. And I do have some pretty big dreams in life. <laughs> You most likely to succeed? Good luck with that. <laughs> I'm going to crush your stupid dreams like a cockroach. Because if anyone is going to win, it will be me. <laughs> if you're going to be named anything, it will be most annoying. Ha <laughs> ha, Lola, I almost forgot to laugh. Oh, wait, I did it because you're not funny. Toodles! Oh, I'm funny. Didn't you see the banana peel prep ball? No way am I going to let Sherwood lose to Tracy. Not only is it better for mankind, but it's also better for me. So these stats in the first quarter are... What? Looking Someone's got to enjoy Sherwood's success. Bye, bye, bye. And I am more than happy to be that someone. Go and sell that. Man, no way am I going to let Tracy curse my future. Exactly, dude. That's why we are going to do everything we can to make sure you are voted most likely to succeed. Someone's got to enjoy that yacht. What yacht? The one Sher's gonna buy when he's super successful. Look, Ange, I don't need an elaborate plan. I'm the three-time winner of the science fair, I have the top grades in our class, and I know all the lyrics to Slobber's second album by heart. It's true. Slobber! <laughs> no one else comes close. I know that, but this is Tracy we're talking about. Oh, sure, loser! Congratulations on being most likely to fail. <laughs> hey, I was eating that. Oh, snooze you lose. <laughs> you were saying? Tracy has a history of doing whatever it takes to win. She cheats all the time. Like that time she bribed the ref in the spelling bee. Potato. P-O-T-A-T-O-E. There's no E in potato. Or that time she stole Butterfinger's phone right when he was about to win that radio contest. Hey! I'm the hundredth caller. Would I win? Huddle farm on ice tickets. Ugh, no one wants that. <laughs> I did. Or that time she won that Tracy lookalike contest. A contest she created. She always plays to win. Guys, Tracy just texted the entire grade her resume. What kind of kid has a resume? A kid gunning to win most likely to succeed. She lists as one of her skills winning. Is that even a skill? All right, Ange, I'm in. <laughs> 